Welcome everyone, another episode of Friday Night Lights. We're getting into season two now. This is episode three. And uh, are you ready for Friday night? It is Friday night. <laughs> yeah. It actually is. It actually is. I love that though. <laughs> Realisation. Yeah. So yeah, it's Friday night, we're watching yep. Friday Night Lights mm-hmm. and the episode's called Are You Ready for Friday Night? Yep. It's going to be a terrible episode. Fryception. <laughs> I think. A what? Fryception. Oh, I don't even get it. Friday and Friday and Friday. This has been way too long of a week for <laughs> this sort of thing. But yeah, no, it should be a good episode despite all those yes. Friday, whatever, freaky Friday, Friday the 13th, <laughs> Halloween, Friday, I don't even know. But um, you right? Yeah, 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 I was checking the date because he said it was the 13th, oh. it was 10th, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely not the 13th. So yeah, we've basically, this, epi- this season so far has been... Landry focused. It has, yeah. Landry's kind of come out as like a real lead character, yeah. where as in season one, he took a real backseat. We thought he was dead at one point. Part. And then that's ironic because he then went on to kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> and now we know his dad's in the, uh, I was about to say, in the old bill. Yeah, sheriff, isn't he? <laughs> that's it, Sheriff. Is it, yeah. In the, the old, old bill. bill. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dear. But yeah, so, and he seemed to be gearing up about that because Tyra wasn't, Tyra just seems to be getting on with it because obviously yeah. for her, I can understand why she feels safer. Yeah. They kissed. They kissed at the it end. It happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I called it early on in the episode incorrectly, but yeah. it came true at the end. Um, but yeah, that it showed his. I remember seeing it showed his dad in a sheriff's uniform, and yeah. that said something to me. Like, and you, then you alluded to the fact that you, you think he might be involved in a cover up of yeah. some sort later down the line. Might be getting ahead of ourselves, but that. Yeah, that would be. A oh, we're definitely good story getting ahead on. of ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we've missed some serious content that's been yeah. in the previous episodes. Mrs. Coach struggling. No more Saracen. Oh yeah, no. Sorry, Saracen. Yeah. You're right. Mrs. Coach struggling. That was hard yeah, to see. It was hard. To it see. was hard to see just because she's been so. All, she's had such an authority about her yeah. and Aura, and she's just been left on her own because well, obviously coaches. Yeah. Coach got called back to deal with that mess. But they they the work, They worked so well together, didn't they? Yes. And now one of them's gone. It's like you can see that they they yep. get through life with each other, yes. and now there's only one. He's he's struggling where he is because he looks bored. Like he's a bit of an outcast in the group. Yes. She's struggling. She's at home with a baby. They need to just get back. They need to be together again. Oh, definitely. Because um, don't introduce me to new standing coach. No, first no. time he's probably a lovely guy, top guy going first to get time from the hospital. And, maybe, yeah. maybe he seems all right. But I'm sorry, you introduce me. Dame you introduce out. me. To a new guy around Mrs. Coach, while Mr. Coach has gone. Mm. Not even Mr. Coach, Coach. And it's in <laughs> his house, in his chair. No, nah, that's not how you introduce a new... Nah, no. I don't like it. I don't like <laughs> it. You say conspiracy theory, Dane. It could theory, be innocent. It could be, it, innocent. Ends, it could be. It could be. He seems all right at the moment, yeah. but I don't like it. No. Okay. I, I like the fact that he went out of his way, hopefully... With innocent Good intentions, intentions to yeah. go and pick Mrs. Coach up when she was that probably best be all it is. one of the lowest we've seen her. Um, best have gone home that night, got a good night's sleep, and he goes to work <laughs> the next day. Everyone forgets about it. Sure and Saracen, did. done. Yeah. Swede. Swede's absolutely killed him off. Yeah. And he just let it happen. He did. It looks like he basically spent the summer watching from afar as his girlfriend flaunted herself. Over, I'm not sure if you use the right term there. I gave, up, I gave up trying to search. The little hamsters are up there, like going through the little vocabulary, like I can't find it. But yeah, over the Swede. And yeah. I still, as I said to you all along with that, I know you wrote it off when he had a girlfriend, but I'm pretty sure he liked Well, we see. Yeah, she it became him. more apparent yeah. towards the end that yeah. they. I think I, was, I really like Saracen and I want good stuff for him. That's why I was holding on to the hope that yeah. they may stay together and. He can move on now. Thing might, yeah, he can move can. on. He can have a happy life. Shall we jump into this episode? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's, let's do it. Just three days Stay the night. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to. <laughs> what a weird time for that to go off. 6.43. That is someone who gets every minute of sleep they yeah. can, even though he was awake and staring at her. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you. Got it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was right there. Uh, I was going to ask about the neighbour. She is in it then. Yeah. Ah, oh, Daddy Rig's not done. No. Judas. Yeah, I cashed in on him by taking his college job just as fast as was humanly possible. Surely that's standard, though, right? Any high school coach is going to take a college gig. Yeah. And we were we were calling that guy a new coach. He's not new coach, is he? He's stand, no, yeah, yeah. He's standing in yes. for Mrs. Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, I realise that. Cause, yeah. I mean, new coach is in trying to like. Take his place at home. Yeah, yeah. Coaches coach everywhere. Also, the new coach is a bit of a, a bit of a dick. 
Yes. I, I didn't know that you were broke up. She probably just didn't want to buy, you know, like, you know, stress you. Or... Gone like a memory, like a postcard, route. like a bad That's dream, like a love affair, like a night train. Wow. Someone needs to speak up. Yeah. Just needs one person. It needs to be Smash, man. Street, yeah, Street tried to, didn't I don't want to put it all on Smash. But street tried to, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, and he got he, told to... Yeah. Smash has the ear of the whole team, you know. Yeah. He can he can get everyone on board. Definitely. Yeah, he proved himself towards the end of Season 1 to be such a leader. So yeah, definitely. Hopefully it is... I know it's every time Rig's being put through this, it's going to Street and Smash. So whether the two of them are going to come together yeah. and sort something out. What the hell you think you're doing to yourself, Tim? You're completely dehydrated. Your body went into shock. Front desk can't get a hold of Billy. Yeah, he's probably screwing my ex-girlfriend. It, oh, it was Billy. Billy. I thought it looked like him. Any other relative we could call? His dad. Great spot. No, we'll keep wow. trying, Billy. I didn't actually think it was him, but it just looked like him. You just come here to check up on me? I'm here as a friend. Your recruitment deal you got going, you know, get them when they're down. No. Get them while they're down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, it's breaking for you, buddy, but you don't have hind legs, so you're screwed. But you actually thinking you're going to do it again. I feel like I would believe him as well. I can't say unless you're in that situation, obviously, yeah. but I feel like he's been through it all and, and he's he not does. Yet. He's spoken more and more sense, I found, as the episodes have gone on. I say he hasn't been wrong. No, uh, with, it, with, his, with his advice to Street. Cut the kid loose. Back. We don't need him. Well, Coach, I think that's a bit premature. He's uh, got some Taylor, time. just he, cut the boys. Not performing. Hey, did you try uh, turning it off and then turning it on again? Yes. And who's that? That's Glenn, darling. What's Glenn doing it now? No, Julie and Matt didn't break up. Yeah, they did. It's all over the school. It's huge. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. Hey, babe, tell Glenn to sit down and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the smash is in the zone like never before. Oh, I'm ready to run with that ball. He's out of control, man. I think I passed out because that's how Norbert was scared. Honey wants to get one over on the coach, doesn't he? Yeah, that's he why. does, yeah. I want you to listen to me, Tim Riggins. I've seen you play with a hangover many times and you played like a champ. It kind of feel like there's sort of some inequity. What you want me to do, go tell Coach McGregor to change his strategy? No, but I want you to act like a captain because you are the captain. Live with it, Matt. Oh, no, it's a smash his last year. Yeah. I think some of the issue could be that the coach was like, he was praising Smash everything he did, and then he was like, mm. he's having a go at Rick, and yes. it's like he's a golden boy. Yeah. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, it's a Swede picking up Julie. Yeah. Well, who broke up with who? Mom, look. I really just don't really want to talk about it, okay? <clears throat> was it because of that boy at the pool? No. Yep. <laughs> Liar. Lies. I think your baby's crying. That means get out. She's disassociated herself from the young one, though, all along. As I yeah. say, you'd expect a child of her age to be helping out. Definitely. Yeah. Because like she may be best disjointed being not being an only child anymore. Yeah. That's my plan. Leave a huge gap. <laughs> then he goes into the rotor. <laughs> <laughs> Live in babysitter. <laughs> yeah. Red jersey does not mean you get to walk today. Opening day is upon us, gentlemen. We need Riggins to bring his A game for Friday night. We should go over to his house and talk to him. You know, pop him up. Can you do that? Yes, sir. It's going to be at the exact moment Lila's there. Of course it is. Yeah, when you said earlier about them, the reason I think that can't happen is because of Street and Tyra. I think there's too much in the cast that's not going to let that happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Doc told me to rest, so I'm resting. Hey, he prescribed you a 12-pack, too? No, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Tim? You're the one that didn't show up. You're the one that's always late. You're the one that doesn't take your life seriously. Great coaching tactic. I mean, that fire on my ass has been lit. And I and I got and I got no clean socks. Oh, then I suggest you wash some. Yeah, she's playful with him, isn't she? Yeah. You know, I I just sort of thought that maybe you'd be helping out in that in that whole area. Why? Because I have brown skin. I'm a caregiver, not a maid. Right, but doing laundry helps people. The washing machine is over there. The watch has been in the family over 60 years. Your grandpa's going to want to see you wearing it when he comes out here next month. Uh, pork chops and wild rice and Caesar salad. Oh, dear. It's at the bottom of the creek. I can't tell you. I mean, you can't tell me some dead or something? What? If I told <laughs> you, you wouldn't come. That's why. Now, listen. I don't think I'd go. Two hours or something. I mean, given where... Buddy's history, yeah. I just wouldn't go. I'd be like, no. Nah, if I told no. you, you wouldn't come, yeah. well, I would have told you. Jackie wasn't comfortable with it. That escalated quickly. Yeah. I feel like them two very rarely have productive conversations. <laughs> no, they they get by, but they just rarely sort things out. 
Hang on, he should not be driving. No, he should He's be. about to have a DUI, isn't he? I was going to the church. You have a past that you cannot do away with. I can't work out if he's tripping or if this is getting through to him. I don't know. If it's resonating with him. Do you know what I mean? I can't work out yeah, if he's yeah. about to throw up or if he's actually... I think he might be resonating Because he had a bit of sweat on him as well, so mm. I don't know if he's like, just feeling rough, but maybe it was. Well, it oh, really doesn't look anything though. like it except for the fact that they are both watches right. and have hands. And... <laughs> <laughs> she said they'd see each other in school, but they're seeing each other out of school. I think it's... I think anything related to the murder she's going to have to be involved in. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not going to do anything to drag you into it, I promise. Little Gary. Get out. Two minutes. Get out. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it made me wonder about everything you've been saying isn't as crazy as what everyone thought. It's scary. I feel closer to God if I'm with you. You feel closer to God when you're with me? Go. Uh, he's really confused. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Uh, get into her house anyway, though, we're learning. That's the window <laughs> through the, the low yeah. let him in. And it's all because of McGregor. There's something wrong with that guy. I think he's evil. <laughs> sure, you might just pissed off and kicked you off the field. And I'd say you're crazy and I got a job. Look, I'm not going to get rid of the guy unless I know that you will come back. First, first year of her life, she never sees her daddy. Your family needs you. But he's not wrong, but he's doing it for his own gain. Yes. Oh, he's very much got his own personal interests at yeah. Jules, front, as always. this is your mother. It's yeah. past two o'clock in the morning, and you had best call oh, me as fast wow. as you can. Wow. And then we'll actually take us is his girlfriend there? Short amount of it's us. <laughs> Hyperbolic. Oh, no. I don't care. Take me somewhere. I'm not going in. I'm not going in. What's wrong? You got rid of me when you had Gracie and Dad left. I thought she felt pushed out. With the baby. Yeah, well, she's shown no... She's been so isolated, yeah. isn't she? Hi, welcome to Applebee's. What can I get for you? So tell me something. Are you and my son dating? You could date pretty much anyone you want to. He's a wonderful guy. He's smart and kind and... He's kind of put his son down a bit, didn't he? Massively, mm. yeah. Like, thinks it must be some stitch-up. Yeah. A whole new season, a new coach, and maybe a whole new era for Panther football. <laughs> Cross field. Oh, 100%. Coaches in Dillon. When you're only aiming for one guy, it yeah. becomes a much simpler game. Wow. Pull and smash Williams over to the sideline. Looks like he's giving Smash the play. Oh, uh, what do they call this? 194 arrow. <laughs> wow, I got the. It's insane. Has carried this yeah, team on crazy. his back. <laughs> oh, Matt just dragged him. It's all He's angry, over. and he doesn't know how to let it out. Did you see the game tonight? Could knock six. I came here to tell you something tonight, Tim. <laughs> Probably be walking next time you see me, so you better look out because the first thing I'm going to do is walk over here so I can kick your ass. <laughs> And stupidest friend that, that a guy could ever have in this world. Look, algebra on the back of his t-shirt. Calculus. Calculus. You sure you know yeah, sit down. down. <laughs> you're not a nurse yet. Shut up. If things are not good today, they will be better tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> So self-serving, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I don't think it's going to be as easy to get rid of the coaches they're making it out to be. No, I don't know what and if they're going to go with. I, I, I just get the feeling like this new coach, McGregor, that nobody yeah. likes. One way or another, it's not the end of him. No. If he does go, I think he's going to go to another high school and he's going to end, they're going to end up facing him. I just get the feeling like it's we're not done with him. Yeah, he seems like too, too much of a sort of nasty bloke to just... Get up and go when yeah, he's told and to it's go. it's too early. I think yeah. him just leaving now, I almost feel like justice hasn't been done. Do you, you think know? they could use Rig as a testimony? Because he was trying to get Rig to be like, blame the coach, wasn't he on that car ride? I think that's what so they're maybe essentially going to use. Yeah. I think that's it. Well, he's, he made it sound, Buddy's made it sound like that he can just go in, get rid of him. It's done deal. Yeah. Coach is coming back. It's going to be a bit awkward for Coach because a lot of people see him as Judas. Yeah. Um, which is, I think, harsh. Like People have ambitions at the end of the day. They do, yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like one day, I'll go on and get onto a better channel. I can't um, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Counting down the days. Uh, you yeah, have some stepping stones. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know how they're going to do it. But yeah, I, I just feel like it's not done. I feel like no. there has to be... I dislike this new coach. I don't like anything about him. No. But they haven't shown enough that I like detest him yet. No. And I think they want to get it to that level. So I, I, I envisage there's got to be more to come. Yeah, I don't always like. I don't like the way he coaches the team. Um, no, everything is for smash, isn't it? They want to go through smash every time. Yeah, um, called Jason a mascot as well, which is a bit harsh. Really that was harsh. harsh, especially as he previously gave him an ultimatum about being a coach or being the mascot, yeah. and Street stuck by him and tried to you know carried on coaching. Yeah, and then he still goes and labels him as the mascot. Yeah. And Saracen, I just feel for because. This this is this I actually think this is quite a realistic scenario as well because he's basically just let Julie treat him like a bit of a bitch. He's watched all summer everything unfold. It's come to it. She's basically said it's over. Yeah. He's just got up and walked off. So he's had not had a go at her or anything along those lines or said how she's hurt him, what she's done to him, why he feels disrespected, all of that. And he's just going around taking it out on everyone else. But he's got yeah. no one to talk to. Yeah. He can't talk to his best mate because he's currently murdering people. And he's literally got nobody that he can really... He can't talk to Smash, who potentially he could have bounced off of, although Smash's advice would have been to let's go to this party and that yeah. party, because he's too busy taking it out. He's, got, he's just got no one to talk to. Do you think he'll confide, confide in the, the living help, or do you think that's going to... Go somewhere. I've no, I've got. I've, I I call it. It's, it's yeah. definitely something is definitely going to happen. Yeah, I think there, it is. Yeah, I don't know whether he'll confide in I, her first, and then they'll sort of. It'll stem she's from straight that talking, or, so she he should confide in her. He just needs. To, he just needs to get it off of his chest. Yeah. Worst scene for me. Uh, who wrote it or why was Rig just appearing at Lila's house out of it, not seemingly knowing where he is, <laughs> not listening to anything she's saying, talking about God and then going in for a kiss. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, what, what the hell? It was so random. It was. Like, it was. Literally, you think about it, take everything else out that's happened, right? We just follow Rig's episode. He's woke up, seen his brother, good spot, sneaking yeah. out with next door. Mm. Okay, so he's got that in his mind. Then he's got up, hung over, gone to train him, lifting tires and that, collapsed, been taken to hospital Tiring. where his ex, whatever that was, comes to visit him, nobody else, yeah. messages him, uh, sorry, messages him, speaks to him about potentially finding himself because he's lost. He then goes home, I think, at this point. I think the street then turns up and says that he's a mess and that he needs to come to practice and did the doctor prescribe him with a 12-pack. <laughs> he then leaves the house, <laughs> drives drunk, to the biggest church I've ever seen anywhere in my life. It had about 3,000 people in there. <laughs> Finds Lila immediately. Straight away. She has a spare seat next to her. <laughs> because I didn't even think of that. So she's got a spare seat straight next to her. Then he gets a bit dazed. Like, you wonder if he's, like, completely losing the plot or whatnot. But no, it turns out he's had a vision quest or something. And that vision quest was to send him to Lila's front door to talk about how he's found himself and go in for a kiss. And then she sent him away. Street then turns up again, does he? I've lost track now. I think so. He- <laughs> He doesn't go back to practice. We then see him at the game walking off. No context given there whatsoever. No, how was it? I don't know how he's got picked for the game if he wasn't even at practice. <laughs> I mean, it sounds, well, to be fair, it sounds like he is the starting fullback and he's always, as long as he's there, he's going to get put in. Yeah. But, yeah, nothing around that. He's just there at the game. We don't quite know why or how. And then he walks off and then Street goes, launches a bottle at him, <laughs> says he's going to Mexico and basically says, you know, he's the worst person in the world. And then he just goes, Mexico, huh? <laughs> and now that's his episode. Count me in. That is one person's episode. Yeah, that's that crazy. is messy, right? Yeah, that's a crazy episode of Rig. Now oh, I missed it... out the argument with the brother, to be fair, <laughs> oh, as well yeah, about the yeah about the confrontation. So yeah, that that was Rig's episode. Weird. It was. It was. It was a crazy episode. Actually. And maybe that's why we were warned about the writing, because yeah, when you kind of put that together, that is just insane. Like I said, that's just one person. It's a roller coaster of an episode. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. No. So yeah, anyway, he's off to Mexico. So Landry living the dream at the yeah, moment. I mean, no. for all the wrong reasons. I mean, he's another def- good, another good episode for Landry. But I think we've seen Tyra come round to the fact that he is a good guy. She does actually like him. Do you think um, he's going to get away with it? I, I don't think so. i just got a funny feeling he might. I just think he's become a big character and he's Saracen's best mate. We now know that 
um, Smash is a senior, so this is his last season. Matt isn't because he said you can then take over. Yeah. So that would imply that Landry and Matt have got more to play. They're in a lower year. Yeah. Um, so I just wonder for that reason, maybe if he's yeah. not going to get away with it. I just don't. I don't see how they're going to be able to put forward a self-defense story if that's where they go with this, given where yeah. he hit him. So you saying you think he will or he won't? I think he's going to get away with it. I okay. think. I think his dad's going to cover it up. Yeah, I mean that could that would be the likely angle, and if he does get away with it, I think his dad will have a part to play in it. But I just think this is seen drama, isn't it? Like yeah, things yeah, normally yeah. happen for a reason. Like glad coach is back, buddy again, mm. it, like it came in clutch, but for all the wrong reasons. Buddy, buddy first, everyone else secondary yeah, to that. Literally. If what buddy wants suits you, then happy days. Yeah. But yeah, I mean at least he didn't plan it on hurting someone, but he didn't hurt anyone in this episode. No. So you know, well done, buddy. Um, you know, enjoyable episode. Please give the video a like if you haven't done so already. Thanks for being with us on this one. We can't wait to see you on the next one.